ABC6 on your side tonight, showing you what it takes to be a firefighter. Investigator Brooks Jarose got to experience the dangers and the unexpected challenges firsthand. If you're out of shape, don't like heavy equipment, or have fear of heights, then this job is not for you. Third generation firefighter Jeff Moore is my wrangler, here to help me out. It's basically, you'll be blind, and you're gonna use every other sense in the world. The first task, search and rescue inside a dark and smoke-filled building. Sense of urgency is what's really important for us. If we have a report of a victim inside, we want to try and locate that victim as quick as we possibly can. I can't see, but stay low to the ground and feel my way around. It's a lot more challenging than I ever imagined. It was also hard to breathe. Uh, you get to see how uncomfortable things are for us sometimes. Kind of gives them a different perspective. You know, the walk a, walk a mile in my shoes kind of thing. Next, we hopped aboard a rescue squad on an EMS run. An ill person quickly went into cardiac arrest. He's passed out. We're going to try to get him out, lay him out down here. And family members didn't make things easier. What are you guys doing to him? What are you doing? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to help him. <laughs> We've got one person pushing cardiac meds. We've got another person doing CPR. We've got one individual uh, breathing for the person that's down unconscious. Ready? One, two, three. Time is critical, and so is teamwork. And they're all working together to try to resuscitate this person. Once we do all we can, we're off to the hospital. But the biggest physical challenge is fighting flames. Making entry in right now. We're going to be going, making the first turn. Our team of four rushes into a smoke-filled hallway until we discover flames shooting up over us. We knock it down, but the steam and soot is overwhelming. Here, it's wood and straw burning, but in your home, synthetics pose a serious danger. Uh, those toxins, you know, used to be a badge of courage. You'd have a dark black helmet, you know, covered in soot. Um, now that stuff, we've linked it right to occupational cancer. Which is why firefighters make sure to clean themselves and their gear often, all while looking out for one another. There's a lot of things that go into this. It's the manpower, it's the teamwork, it's the training, it's the equipment. Any piece of that puzzle that, that gets removed puts us in harm's way. You walk through that door and you never know what you're going to encounter. And when doors won't open, like this car, we're using other tools to make an escape. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go. The jaws of life weigh 40 pounds and can be challenging to get just right. All in a day's work, and it's back to the station for my grade card. So you, when you get your gear on, you get a little shake. Uh, even Mike noticed it, but uh, you did good. I passed the test, but also proving the tests firefighters face every day is no easy feat. Brooks Jarose, ABC6 News. Oh, you think about him doing that in the extreme heat and extreme oh, cold nice. around here. Well, Brooks recently did an ABC6 investigation into firefighters who are increasingly battling skin cancers. And after it aired, the Ohio Skin Cancer Institute answered the call. Free skin exams are being offered tomorrow to all police, fire, military, and their spouses. It'll take place all day long at the office along Morrison Road in Gahanna. Here's a number to call if you want to make an appointment, 585-9900. Again, that's 614-585-9900 to make an appointment. I wish I old man glasses. Price